Hi and welcome. In this video, you're going to learn how to customize the thumbnail images in the content panel. Now, it is possible to customize not only the view of the thumbnails in the content panel, but the information that's available to see under each of the thumbnails. Now, first of all, if I want to change the size of any thumbnail, there's a slider down at the bottom. And I can click on this slider and drag it to the right to make the thumbnails bigger and to the left to make the thumbnail smaller. There's also a little icon. There's a, there's a, a negative and a positive. So basically, if I click this one, it gives me a smaller thumbnail size. If I click this one incrementally, it gives me a bigger thumbnail size. There's also a keyboard shortcut on Windows. is I press the control key and the plus key. And that makes them bigger and the control of the minus, and that makes them smaller. If you're on a Mac, that's Command and Plus and Command and Minus. Now, if I want to change the information displayed underneath the thumbnails, then I have to go to Preferences. So on Windows, I'd go to Edit and Preferences, and on the Mac, I'd select from the Bridge menu and Preferences. So here, I'm going to go to Edit and down to Preferences. And then I'm going to make sure that I've got the thumbnail selection clicked. And here you can see that in the details section, there's one, two, three, four, there's four extra pieces of information that I can uh, have underneath those thumbnails. So if you look, I've got both open at the same time here. If I want, um, ooh, let's pick from the list. I'm going to say I want date created. I can put a tick in there. I can say dimensions, I'll put that in there. Uh, keywords, is there any keywords on these images? And then, is there anything to do with size? And, you, and basically you can mix and match with these. So you can have, let's say the color profile. So you can have as much information or as little information as you like underneath each of these um, thumbnails. So I'm gonna click OK. And now we've got a lot of information underneath each of these thumbnails. Now there is a keyboard shortcut. If it just gets in your face most of the time and you just want it when you want to see it, then there is a keyboard shortcut to toggle all this information off. And that is Control and T on the uh, Windows machine and Command and T on a Mac. So if I press Control and T, see it all disappears and Control and T or Command and T on a Mac and it brings it back again. Now you can also choose to show your tool tips. Now this can be handy if you have everything here hidden and you still want information about your file on hand. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my preferences. But this time I'm going to make sure that show metadata on hover is ticked, which in this one it is because I, ha I have it ticked anyway. And I'll click OK. So now if I press Ctrl and T to hide all that information, but I just want a quick look at the information on one particular image, then I can just hover over it and I get my tooltip come up. And this shows me all that information. The it, it does go away, so you've got to keep looking. So date created, date modified, size and dimensions. And I can just hover over any image and it'll just quickly give me that information. Now, if we need to, we can change the thumbnail order. So what we can do, we can drag and drop the thumbnails into a different position to create a custom order. So if there was a storyline to this, uh, which <laughs> there probably isn't, but let's have a look. We can, oh, we'll get the shells. We'll say, well, the first one I want to be is the shell. And then we've got a close up of the shell. And then we've got another one of the shell. So what I've done is I've now created a custom order. And I mean, this may be for a slideshow, which custom order would be really useful. But what you'll see now is that my sort has changed to sort manually. And this is because I've, I've manually changed the sort order of the images. Now I can go back to my file name. And that takes me back to where we were. But you don't have to worry about losing your custom sort order because you can always choose manually again. So if I go to 
there and click manually, it puts it back into that manual sort order that I had. Now finally, if you want to reverse the order, and if you're looking at by date, then that can be useful. So I'll go back to by date created. Uh, and then we've got this little arrow here where I can sort ascending or descending. There we go. Well, that's it for our conversation about how to customize the thumbnails in the content panel by changing the size, the order and what other metadata is displayed. OK, I hope you found that useful. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.